Hi guys, I have a yoga lattes for you today. So we're going to be infusing yoga stretching and Pilates. It's going to be a beautiful flow that's going to make you feel amazing. So make sure you had a drink of water, you're all ready to go. All you need is a mat today. We're going to stretch, lengthen, lean those muscles out and leave you feeling refreshed, re-energized and all loosened up for the day. So come join me on the mat. Alrighty guys, let's get ready for our yoga lattes this morning. Let's start on all fours this morning. So remember when we're in our all fours position, you want your pinky fingers at the edge of the mat, right there. You want that nice gap, because if your hands are too close together, you're going to be crunching up that chest. So pinky fingers to this side. Remember we don't let it sway back, we're going to pick up through there. So you're nice little loosen of that upper body. So just coming down, have that scapular release. So I'm kind of coming down and dumping here, this is not what we want. We push and lengthen up in that scapula. And we come and find that nice little middle, that neutral right here. From here, we're going to do some nice big hip circles, just waking up those hips. So here you can kind of move and flow. Remember, it's your practice today. This is like the time you used to play around with your body. Your circles might be small, they might be big. Just do what feels good for you. And let's rock it around the other way. So we're fusing the two together today. That's it. another nice big circle. And bring it back into that little all fours. From here, we're going to push back into that little stretch here and come and lean it all the way forward. So having that little cobra push here, elbows tucked in, that nice little lift of the chest. Remember to tuck that chin in slightly, push back down, use that upper body strength, push back into that child's pose. Once again, if you want to have your knees a bit wider, it might feel comfortable for you. If it feels a bit tough on the knees, you can always chuck a little blankie behind. Inhale, exhale, roll it on through, lay it on down. Push up in that little cobra. So hug those elbows in. And only lift, it might just be here for your chin, it's fine. A little higher, a little higher. Depends on your flexibility and how you slept last night. Bring it down and push it back. One more time. Inhale, exhale, slide it on down. A little raise, hold here. A little left and right turn with the neck. You might want to push a little higher now. You might feel a little bit more warmed up. That feels good on my back. Last one, bring it down and push it back into that child's pose. Inhale, exhale, come back into that all fours position. I'm going to creep myself into the middle of my mat. That's it. Remember, we want to find that nice and neutral, feeling strong in the upper body, pushing out of the shoulder. We don't want to dump here. Nice and strong. I'm going to lift up that right leg. Make sure that hip doesn't rotate out here. It's nice and square down. From here, we're going to bend that leg into some nice big hip circles. So just like we're doing the circles with the hips, we're just circling out that knee joint. That's it, loosening up that hip. Kind of think of like a ball in a socket right here. And reverse the other direction. Now if this is hard on your wrist or anything, you always can always say, put a little um, blankie down here to make it a bit softer on your wrist. Or you can come down on all fours. That's it, last time around. Hold there, lift up, lengthen that leg out. Now, if you like, you can take that other hand off. You can bring it just to here. So I'm just taking this hand and bringing it onto this elbow joint. And just feel that balance. Feel the core having to engage right here. Or you can lift that hand forward and reach to the other side of the room. Gaze is down. Make sure the neck's not here. You're lifting up. I think about being pulled up by the back of the neck by a kitty cat. You know how mummy cat carries the kittens? You want to pull up here. Holding here for three, two, one. Place it down. Beautiful work. Let's take it to the other side. So we lift that leg up. Feel that nice strength in the body. I'm trying to activate that quad. Gaze is just to the front of my mat. Pulling up through the belly button. Think about that rib to hip connection right here. Bending that leg. Taking it to those beautiful big circles. Opening that hip up. We're going to add on to this today. It's going to feel good on those hips. At the same time, you can feel that oblique working as that leg circles trying to stabilize. Reverse back the other direction. Nice big circles. So it's a nice functional movement. This is great for us. And strengthen it back out. Taking that opposite arm, if you want to, don't have to, and just holding it here. Feel that stabilization first. You want to keep those hips nice and square down to the ground. And then if you feel like it, and feel strong today, or just wherever you're at, you can reach it on forward and hold. For five, four, three, Two, one, bring it in. We're gonna add on to that. So that opposite leg comes back up. We're gonna do one nice big hip circle, 
hold it here, step it forward, lunge it down to that lizard lunge. So you might need to adjust your hands and feel that nice hip stretch here. So you're trying to sink the hips down. You don't want the booty up here, sink it down. So it's a nice little stretch here. Inhale, exhale, pick that leg back up into that position right here. Beautiful work. Let's go again. So it's a nice big hip circle around and lunge it forward. Let's do it a few times. Take it to your own tempo. Nice big hip circle, lunge, bring it forward. So here we're really using that oblique muscle. As we come around here, that oblique helps put, place the foot down, sink the hips for that nice stretch in the hip flexors and pack it back out one more time. Circle it around, hold, hit there, come here, lunge forward. Now that nice little lunge forward, you can keep it here and kind of just find that yumminess where you feel that nice stretch. Or you can tuck those back toes under and come into a, a lizard lunge right here. So I can feel it a bit more deeper in that hip flexor right now. Inhale, exhale, I'm quite tight this area too. Awesome, one more time, inhale. Exhale, I'm gonna drop that back knee, place that leg up, hold it here, straighten it around, I'm gonna untuck those back toes and just a nice little rainbow tap up and over. So I'm bring that nice little rainbow kick in. Really good for those glutes. Strengthening that upper glute and that lower back. So think long and straight, kick up and over. It's the up you want to focus on. At the same time, keep those hips square, shoulders square, pushing out of those fingers, out of those hands, we're not dumping those shoulders. Nice, strong in that neck and back. That's it, let's go for three. Two, last one. Take it over, bring it back up, bring it back in. Stretch back for a child's pose. Inhale, exhale, roll it all the way back up. Beautiful. Take it to the opposite side. Set yourself up. It's that beautiful hip circle. Lunge forward. Come into that little stretch. Hip the foot back up. Bring it around. And bring it through. So take it to your own tempo. Pack it back up. Circle around. Step it forward. Let's do two more here. Warming up those hip flexors. Circling, getting mobilization into that area. On that last one here, we're going to circle it around, hold it up, bring it forward, lunge down. Hold into that beautiful lunge position. Think about long through that neck, so pull up through that neck. If you want, stay here. You can kind of play around, have a little wriggle till you feel in that little sweet spot. We'll tuck the back toes, come into that nice big lizard lunge. So feel that nice stretch here and that wide runner's lunge. Inhale, exhale out. Oh, I can really feel that stretch happening in those hips. I can feel that quad working. Inhale, exhale, I'm gonna place that knee back down. Shoot that leg back up, untuck those toes. Lengthen that leg out. Make sure you still feel strong in that little box position. Tap up and over. Up and over, nice square hips. Gaze is down at the mat. Beautiful. Make sure we're not doing this. That's what I see sometimes in classes. Here. Beautiful, let's go for five, four, three, two, last one, bring it up, shoot it in, push back for that well-deserved stretch. Inhale, exhale out, inhale in, exhale out. Rock yourself on up, flip yourself all the way over into that beautiful little position right here. Let's take a few little C curve back and stretch and lengthen up. So right here, knees are hip width apart. I'm coming back into that C curve, tucking the chin, rolling the pelvis under, and lengthening back up. Inhale, exhale, belly button comes to spine. Gaze comes down, and I lengthen back up. Inhale, exhale, roll back down. One more time. Inhale up, exhale, roll it down. Hold here. Now, you can either keep the hands behind the knees, that feels better, and just lift one arm up, bring it down, lift the other. Or, if you feel comfortable, roll those shoulders away, take those arms up, and it's like a little swim here in that C curve. So you can keep the arms holding behind the knees, if that feels a bit more comfortable for you today, or take them off, shoulders back, think about the scapula gliding down the back, and we're lifting. And I can feel the work happening going across those abdominals. Let's go for five. Four, three, you're doing well. Two, 
And last one, roll it, reach it forward, tuck that chin like you're trying to reach something in front of you. Roll the shoulders down and away, inhale, exhale, roll one vertebra down time. Now if you need to go behind the knees with the hands to help yourself down, you go for it. And roll all the way, bring those hands all the way above the head and coming around. Nice big circles, getting mobility into those shoulder joints. Inhale, exhale, one more time. Inhale here, exhale, place the shoulder hands and just on the outside of the mat, you don't want them too close to the body, you want to use the upper body. Step the feet in a little closer to make it easier for yourself. So right here we're going to do that hip roll, so think about the pelvis tipping back, rolling one vertebra time as you push and lift, hold at the top, check those hip bones out, squeeze those glutes, drive through the triceps. This moves great for us, make sure those knees aren't flaring out, they're nice on those little railroad tracks right here and bring it halfway down and lift up. Halfway down and lift up. Really activating the whole back body. This is really good for those hamstrings, those glutes. That's it. Let's go for three, two, and last one. Hold it up there. Now, if you want to give it a go, you can just hold here. Take a little break. Inhale, exhale, lift back up and hold. This time, let's lift those arms up. Feel the difference. Take it back into those swimming arms right here. That's it. Stretching out. Pushing up with those glutes. Let's go for five, four, three, two, last one. Bring it up. Place those hands down. Place those glutes on down. You're doing well. Inhale, exhale. Got that nice and neutral happening here. I pick those glutes back up. Now we're going to transfer of weight. So lift up one, place it down. Lift up two. So it's a little bridge series. We're going to keep adding on here. That's it, lift up and again. So we're doing a little marching on the spot. Now we're focusing on hip stabilization here. So I'm stabilizing those hips. So it's a lot of work. You're doing a lot of work right here. So it might not feel like much, but it is. You're really working, you're changing that body weight. That's it, stabilizing through that pelvis. Let's go for three, two, last one. Bring it on down. Inhale, exhale, now this time. I'm going to bring it across in that beautiful little figure four stretch right here. So just gently push that leg away. Feel that stretch right there. Inhale, exhale out. I'm just gently pushing away. Feeling that length in the leg. I'm going to place the hands back down. Now lift here. So we're lifting in that figure four stretch. Pushing up through the glutes. Now once again, to make it easier for yourself to get that height, use that upper body. I'm pushing into those triceps. Sometimes it's nice to bring the hands here, like think about pushing into the elbows and bring it down. Push into those elbows, reactivate that upper body. That's it, one more here. Bring it down, lift it up, bring it all the way down, slide that leg over, take the arms out into a T. This is where the yumminess comes in on the stretching. We're gonna bring those legs over to one side. Whew. Feel how good that feels. So I love this, we're working the muscles fatiguing them and then taking them in for a beautiful stretch. So it's like giving, them, giving your muscles that well-deserved little treat that they're looking for. Inhale, exhale, bring it to center. Use that core and drop it the other side. Just feel the difference. So now this upper leg's crossed over. It's like gently pulling and opening up this hip. And you can even take the head to the opposite direction if that feels good for you. You're trying to relax those shoulders down to the mat and focus in on that breathing. Inhale. Exhale. So you want to fill that belly up, and on the exhale, draw that belly button to spine. Inhale, exhale, bring it back to center. Uncross that leg. Go to the other side. Oh, this is my stiffer side. So gently give it that stretch first, pushing away. So I'm really opening up that hip, giving that nice little stretch right here. Inhale, you're doing well. Exhale out. We're going to drive those elbows in. Think about initiating from those glutes, so squeeze up, lift up through the glute, single leg hamstring lifting right here. So you're doing that isolation on one side to the other. At the same time when I push up here, I'm giving those hips nice and square and opening them up at the same time, that leg and that little rotation. Beautiful, push through those elbows. Inhale, exhale out. Let's go for three, two, and last one. Lift up, your best one yet. Bring it down, we gently slide that leg down, take the arms out to a T, and take the legs over. Whichever way you want to go first. I was trying to make my mind, I thought I want to look at you guys first. So I can feel a nice stretch through that side of the hip. 
Nice work, inhale, exhale out, fling that gorgeous stretch. Now use that core, so take the inhale, exhale, really glad it comes to spine as I bring it over, because otherwise you don't want to hurt your lower back. That's it, so we initiate from that core, so more we can get that breath, utilize that breath, more we're going to protect, help protect that lower back. Beautiful, looking to the other side. Inhale, exhale out. Inhale, enjoy that stretch. Try and relax into it. The side's a bit more tense for me. It's a bit more stiff today. So I'm just trying to focus in and relax into it. Let those muscles go. Use that inhale, exhale, bring it back to center and hug both those knees in. Nose, knees, knees in. Have a gentle rock side to side, massaging that lower back. Go one direction, even have a little circle with the knees and go back the other way. So it's just a nice little lower back release. The more we can release our lower back, the more we can work into those lower core muscles. That's an amazing bonus. It's kind of the thing you kind of don't think about. When that lower back's really tight, it's actually really hard to engage into that lower abdominal area. Beautiful work, place those legs down. Bring those hands behind the head, bring the elbows into peripheral vision. Knees are in those nice train tracks, so they're not joined together, just slightly separate. I'm gonna tuck that chin and lift up for a little ab prep. And bring it back down. Inhale, exhale, we can slightly nod the chin. Exhale up. So we want to see when we're coming out. We draw it down. No coning or doning. So it's flat across here. If you're finding your coning or doning, that means you've got a bit of um, ab separation there. So you really want to focus on that breath. So as you inhale, exhale, pull those abs together. And bring it back down. Inhale, exhale, lifting up. And bring it back down this time. We're going to inhale, exhale, lift up, hold, reach those arms, bring them back and bring it back down. Inhale, exhale, lift up, then we reach, lift a little higher, bring it back down and release. Inhale, exhale, another chin, lift up, reach a little higher, bring it back, support that head, just like a little hammock in the back of the head. I'm lifting up, driving down with that abdominals, reaching forward, coming back. Let's do one more. Inhale. Exhale, reaching up, bring it back down, place the head back down. From here, you can bring the hands down to the side, that feels nicer for you. We're going to inhale, exhale, draw the belly button spine, shorten the rib to hip connection, lift one leg, lift the other, take into those little beautiful toe taps right here. Little toe taps, so just warming up. Once again, if you ever need to come back, you can come back to here if that feels nicer for your body. That's it, just listen to your body and work it where you're at today. You made it here, you're doing a great job. So keep going and focus in on that breath. Once again, you can always slow the movement down and just take it to what feels right for your body. From here, I'm gonna inhale, exhale out, bring those hands back behind the head, slight little nod and lift up. Taking it back to those little toe taps. And then if you like, you can add that little rotation. We're rotating. The pelvis is stable and rotating that upper body side to side. So it's a little modified, oh, there we go, legs were wrong, modified bike. That's it, try to work that brain. Let's have it for three, two, last one. Hold it up there, hug the knees in with that little hug. We're gonna stretch one leg up, then reach that one long. If you need to, you can place that one back down. So that nice little stretch right here. If you're really tight um, hemis, that's totally fine. Your stretch might just be more kind of pulling that knee to the nose to feel that nice stretch. Or we're here. We're gonna inhale, exhale, little switch of Rui. One, two. So I love this Pilates move. It does, it incorporates that stretch. So I'm reaching and lengthening. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. So the little one here is that control and lift. So down, lower abs lift, control down, lift. Beautiful one two, switch, one, two, switch, one more, one, two, switch, one, two, no tension on that neck, last one here, bring it in, hug those knees in, beautiful, from here we're going to lift those legs back up, a little flex and point, flex and point, from here we're going to go into our beautiful happy baby, so you can either draw the knees out here, drawing the elbows down, or you can go into the ankles, Big toes, outside of feet, whatever feels kind of nice for you. It's a beautiful hip opener. I'm gonna inhale, exhale, have a little rock side to side. For that beautiful stretch and release. This is where you can have a little giggle, a little laugh. That's it, my kids always love when I do this one. I think it's hilarious. 
And I often see my one-year-olds sing like this, so I'm going to see why they call it a happy baby. I'm going to have a little switch to my toes to see how that feels. That makes me be able to open up those hips a little more, I feel, draw those knees down. So just play around with the hand movement. Just see what feels nice for your body. You just want to feel that beautiful release. You don't want to feel pinging and pain. You don't want pain in your workouts. You just want to feel re rejuvenated. That's it. Inhale, exhale, little rock side to side. Beautiful work from here. Stretch those legs nice and long. Little flex and point. So right here, we're getting that nice blood flow coming back down the body. We're sending that, that blood flow back to the heart. Inhale. Exhale, hug those knees on in. Have a little rock side to side. We're going to come over onto our side here, up onto our knees. Take that nice little breath in. Beautiful. Pull your shorts down. Pull your shorts up, whatever you need to do. You're going to laugh. I brought these. Love these little biker shorts. I was like, oh, they're so nice and high. They pull up so high. I realized that they're maternity shorts. <laughs> I was like, oh, I saw them advertising. like, that lady's pregnant wearing my shorts. Anyway. No, and my kids are like, that's not a sign. I'm not having any more babies. Anyway, back to the exercise. Jack and I put the edge of the foot. Push the hips here. So I've got that nice little line. You've got the pelvis shooting down. Those hands are going to come up into like a little, you can either come just behind the head if that feels nicer for you, or you can stretch them up. And it's like a little candle dipper. So I've got like my little Charlie's Angels gun. Pew, pew. So it lifts up away. Inhale, exhale. So it's our candle dip stretch. So we're using those obliques. We reach over. We reach up. At the same time, I feel like a nice little inner thigh. Make sure those shoulders aren't creeping up to the ears. Reach over and reach back. Inhale. Exhale out. Beautiful. Let's do two. And last one. Reach it here. Reach it over. Place this hand down. Stretch here. So with that nice stretch, make sure the head just doesn't flop strong. Stretch. Push the hips forward. That's it. So you can give those glutes now a little squeeze for me. Feel the difference. Nice. Reach with that top finger. So we're stretching out the serratus. We're stretching out the rib cage. going to help us breathe. Inhale. Exhale out. Beautiful work. One more here. Inhale. Exhale out. Swoop it around. Holding into this position right here. We're going to come down. Tuck that leg under and stretch over here. So it's a similar move but on the ground now. So we've got the foot tucked in and stretching over. So I'm trying to put that ear to the leg. Listen to my arm. And here, don't roll here. Try to think about rolling up and over. You can even put the hand behind the head and then think of looking up and rotating this elbow up. Beautiful. If your um, hands are under that feet, that can be on the ankle. You can even have a slight bend in that leg if that feels more comfortable for you. And so I'm just trying to rotate the body up. Inhale, beautiful, exhale out, come up, down here again, and stretch. Beautiful. So once again, we want to stack the shoulders, reach and stretch over here. For three, two, one, bring it back to center, tuck those legs on in, come on up, other leg out to the side, arms up, take it to the side, and up. So this is a great waistline work here. So think about being in two planes of glass. Tipping down, lifting up, inhale, exhale, nice work, inhale in, exhale out. So think about that tailbone, think about belly button, rib to heavy, you want to think all those Pilates principles happening right here. Last one, bring it over, reach up, that hand comes down, stretch, and remember, roll the shoulder back and over, that's it. Keep that nice hip leg. Make sure that head doesn't just flop. Think about strong. Think about your neck being extension of your back. That's it. Reaching over. Inhale. Exhale out. Now we just sit those glutes on down. Tuck that foot in and stretch it back again in this direction. Once again, here I find it nice with my hand behind my head. This is my stiffer side, you might notice. And then I'm rotating up. Get that nice thoracic rotation. Inhale. Exhale out. Oh, that's tough, do you guys? I have a really tight thoracic spine some nights after sleeping with a baby. Can't call my baby really, he's two in April. But hey, still feeds, still wants to sleep with mummy, but that's totally fine, he's my baby. I call him my, he's my Ezekiel Maximus because he definitely maximizes our family. Yeah. Inhale, exhale, bring it down now, swoop it all around. Then you're in this beautiful position right here. 
So one leg down, one leg up. I'm just gonna push with those fingers. So the pinkies to the outside of the mat. Think about that strong position we did at the start where we're pushing into the mat, releasing our scapula. And I'm just gonna pick up that knee and place it down. Inhale, exhale, pick it up and place it down. So it's a nice plank modification happening right here. Inhale, exhale, pick it up. One more time. Inhale, exhale, pick it up and hold. For three, two, one. I'm gonna bring it down. I'm gonna tuck the toes in this leg and shoot that leg up. So you might wanna just find, move around, just find a nice little space for yourself. So it's that one-legged dog happening right here. And I can feel how tight my hamstrings are. So you want your ears by your bicep, you're pushing back. So think about the chest coming to the legs. Rolling the shoulders down and away from the ears. Inhale, exhale up. Now that knee's gonna bend on in as the other one hits on back. Beautiful, we're there. Inhale, exhale, lift the other leg and bring it down. Inhale, exhale, lift the leg and bring it down. Couple more here. Now make sure that neck's not going here, strong. Inhale, exhale, lift. Bring down, remember you can always use a mirror when you're at home. Inhale, here's our belly button, spine to lift and hold. For five, four, three, two, one. Place it down, tuck those toes, push back, that back leg lifts up. I'm feeling a gorgeous stretch right here. I'm feeling pretty tight. Inhale, exhale up. For three, two, one. Bring that leg down, have a little walk here. So it's walking out your dog. Think about the tailbone heading up to the sky. The head coming between those forearms. It's a beautiful active stretch. Nice feet. Now slightly take the feet to hip width apart. Push back. You're going to grab that hand. You might only be at the knee or try to get to the ankle and rotate. Oh, it's a glorious stretch right here. Inhale. Exhale out. Bring the hand down. Take it to the other side. And rotate. I can make sure you're using that arm to pull myself around. And feel that nice release. Back to center. One more time each side. You get a little bit more each time, so rotate. Inhale, exhale out. Back to center, take it to the other side. Rotate around. Inhale, exhale, bring it here. Walk the feet on in, come down. Back onto your back, you're doing well. Roll yourself all the way down. Let's bring the soles of those feet together into our little Pilates Shavasana. So we're just relaxing those hands here. It's just nice to relax. But before we get to relax, we're gonna do one more move, and then you get to relax. Okay guys, coming here with our feet pressed together, we're gonna to do some little butterfly lifts. So just like we're doing our bridge lifts, but this time we've got the legs in that butterfly position for that nice little hip opener. So from here, we're gonna push through those triceps and lift up those glutes, and bring them back down. Inhale, exhale, lift up those glutes, and break it down. So here we're really opening up those hips and bring it down, inhale, exhale, open up those hips, and bring it down one more time, inhale, exhale, lift up, and bring it all the way down, beautiful, lift those arms up above the head, feel that beautiful stretch, just relax those legs, inhale, exhale, draw the shoulders down, rib cage down, and bring the hands right here, beautiful work, so just gently having that little pressure, just gently open the hips, Kind of feel the tension each side. I can definitely feel more tension um, on my right side and right here. So I'm just kind of bringing my awareness to that and bringing that thought and just releasing off that muscle and putting a tiny little bit more pressure and just breathing into that area as it releases. Beautiful. I'm just going to bring the palms of our hands, bring them on top of the thighs, think about rolling the shoulders down and you're just going to push. So just like where the top of the leg meets the hip, I'm just gently pushing down and decompressing the spine. So I'm trying to get a length. So I'm just pushing that lower body away from my upper body, but make sure those shoulders aren't creeping up to the ears. So it's just gentle pressure. Try and relax and push into it. It feels really nice, it's really good for us to decompress. Just do one more inhale, inhale in. Exhale out. And release it off right there. Beautiful work. Bring the hands just gently to the side. Gently bring those legs in, stretch them out for what like to our Pilates relaxation at the end. So roll the shoulders away, let your whole body get really heavy. Focus in on that breath. Bring that energy and that oxygen back into the body. 
and that's when you do a bit of a full body scan while you're here. So bring your awareness to like your head, to your jaw, make sure you're not clenching the jaw. Then bring the awareness down a little bit to that shoulder area and that chest area, feeling that chest being able to open up with that breath. And bring that awareness down to my tummy, to my digestive system. See if I'm really filling it with that air and exhaling it all out. And bring the awareness to the hips, like another breath. See if you can bring that breath all the way down to your pelvis. And exhale out. Inhale in. Exhale and bring it down to the legs, feeling fully relaxed in those legs. And exhale out. Another nice big deep breath in. Exhale out. And bring a little movement back into those toes and wriggle those fingers. Beautiful work. And then we're going to bend that top leg. Roll yourself on over. Come into a seated position. Sometimes isn't very too comfy for us. This is really good for us to see here. It's good for our hips. Just bringing those hands forward. Inhale, exhale, feel that nice loosening in the hips. Hopefully your hips feel a little looser. You can kind of like have a little rock side to side. And bring those hands behind, push up, open the chest. Inhale, exhale out. And while we're in this position, whoop, switch the legs. Bring the hands forward, have a little rock side to side. It's like a little dance move, isn't it? Rocking side to side here. Bring the hands back, push open that chest. Beautiful work. Inhale, exhale, bring the hands onto the knees. Have a little rotation of that neck, one direction. Rotation the other direction, a little tuck of the chin open. Tuck and lift for three, two, and last one. Bring you back to center, roll the shoulders down and away. Well done guys, hope you're feeling a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more stretched and work. You did a great job. Remember this type of workout is just as important as the high intensity. This is where you're really going to get that length, you're going to strengthen those muscles and give them the rejuvenation that they need. At the same time you're working them, but you're also strengthening and lengthening them. So it's important to have that whole picture of our workout. You want to not just be doing the hard things and go fast all the time, you want to slow it down, connect with the breath, connect with the muscles, and give that body a bit of self-love, and you'll, feel, you'll thank me for it, because your body's gonna last the distance, you're gonna feel good in your body, and when you come to do those other movements, you've actually taken the time for that self-care and that self-love. So thank you so much for joining me on the match today, I hope to see you again soon, and bring a friend along. Enjoy your sister in or your mother, Bring someone else along the fitness journey with you and do it together because it's always better doing something together. Awesome guys, take care, see you later. I'm tired of feeling blue when I lose myself to love.